Hi Capricorn, welcome to your career reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome everyone. I am truly grateful that you're here. Please remember this is a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. I will be pulling five cards for your career. Please note that I will be doing a full career reading tomorrow. This is just kind of like a short and sweet and knowing that not everyone will resonate with this reading, I'm doing the full a full reading on career tomorrow. So I hope you come back tomorrow and check that out. If these messages don't resonate with you, check out your other placements as well. Okay? Spirit, please give me guidance for the highest gift of Capricorn. What do they need to know regarding their career? What do they need to know? Spirit, regarding their career. Spirit, thank you for bringing those that need messages here today. I am grateful they're here. Please give me guidance, Spirit, and what they need to know. All right, that came out. I'm going to take it for their highest good spirit. Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, the Chariot, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so between the Wands and the Chariot, this is some fast-moving energy here. The Queen of Cups talks about intuitively. She, she goes within. She's a nurturing type of individual. This can also, you know, you can see the water flowing, okay, at her feet. There will be a flow of money coming in here. With the Ace of Wands, that's a complete action card here. That is like, okay, moving to a, like a new project, your drive, you there's some creative drive here for sure. With the Page of Wands, there's a lot of excitement and enthusiasm here. You're also open to exploring your options. Okay. With the page of with the page of wands, like it's definitely encouraging you to take risks. Some of you may be starting your own business here, okay? Page of Wand is intelligent, but can also be somewhat impatient, okay? So, he's a page, and again, Tara doesn't have a gender here, but he's still courageous. So, don't, it's like, it, it's trying to tell you, don't be scared to start something new. That's probably where you'll find your biggest growth and potential. With the chariot, you know, it's fast moving energy. And in order to go to the in the right direction, the two sphinx have to be in balance here. But also, some of you could be traveling for work. Okay? With the outcome, this, like, I just feel like this is all new energy. So some of you are starting something new here. You've been through a lot. You've worked hard. And now the universe is bringing something in, okay, to bring you success here because of your past efforts. Now, with the Six of Swords, that talks about, you know, going on a new venture here to something that is fulfilling. Some And it's, it's, it's transforming yourself, but you also, you know, into like a new life. So you could also be assisting people who are recovering addicts or they're having to change a lifestyle and transition into a new lifestyle here. Take that as it resonates because that's going to be for a few of you. But for overall, it's, it is definitely a good cards here. I'm pretty straightforward. Spirit, please give me three cards for Capricorn regarding money. Spirit, please give me three cards. The Hierophant. Please give me two more cards, Spirit, for money, 
for Capricorn, please. What do they need to know for their highest good? Ace of Swords. Truth be told. Clarity here. Spirit, please give me guidance. One more card, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Since those other two just came out, I'm waiting for one more card from the universe here. Bear with me. I'm at the mercy of the universe here to spit out another card. Spirit, please give me one more card regarding Capricorn and what they need to know for their highest good with money, Spirit. Okay, let's wait two minutes. Spirit, please give me just one card. Four Capricorn with money, please. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. All right. All right. The Hierophant. Think twice before spending money here with the Hierophant. Okay. And put. You probably want to put some aside. Like, don't. And if you. If you're looking at investing. You know, the, the Hierophant's not about taking too much of a risk from a money perspective. It's more of the traditional methods here. And with the Ace of Swords, it's just kind of confirming that. Like, handle your finances with care. Like, don't think with your heart. Think with your head here. Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles here, it's, you know, it's, it's good because she is about focusing on her money and her household and she's nurturing. She, you know, if she has children, she does put money back into the household here. Um... She's not frugal, but she's responsible with her money. So for whatever reason, I'm getting really the main message here with money is to make sure you, you know, you have some set aside and not to get into too many risky things at the moment. Okay. But it's, it's like a comfortable feeling. It's, it's sufficient here. It's clearly not negative. It's just making you aware to to save your money and not spend it frivolously, okay? All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed that message. Remember to keep standing in your power, and I will be posting your full career reading tomorrow, so I hope to see you then. Bye.